I mean, I didn't, I didn't show you guys in the video because it's a little bit of a pain to work in here. But I also disconnected the wires from the motor and I got 24 volts. So I got 24 volts and I was at 115 volts. That confirms to me that this motor. Louis, 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 Louis. All right, guys, I'm going to take you through the process of troubleshooting this ECM motor. So I got 24 volts because I confirm we have 24 volts coming from this side. So you need to put your voltage meter from here to here, get 24 volts. Is your high side, which is 115 volts, neutral and hot. Also, this is your control. So I confirm I got 115 volts going to the motor because it's one of these pigtails are going to uh, the motor. So you got 115 volts going directly to the motor. And over here, this one gives you uh, 24 volts that powers your, your, uh, your motor. So you have a low voltage side and a high voltage side on the motor. And sure enough, I checked here that I got 24 volts going directly to the motor. I mean, I didn't show you guys in the video because it's a little bit of a pain to work in here. But I also disconnected the wires from the motor and I got 24 volts. So I got 24 volts and I was at 115 volts. That confirms to me that this motor is bad. So it's time to change the motor. And stay tuned, guys. The next video, I'll show you how to put it in. Weapa.